Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. Today I thought I would show you guys how I go about decluttering my planner or doing what's called a planner purge. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in seeing, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so as you guys know, uh, my planner is pretty stuffed which makes it really hard to uh, sometimes flip the pages, especially when I want to use the pages in the back. So I thought now would be a good time to do an end of year, uh, you know, declutter or planner purge, um, you know, and get getting rid of the things that I don't really need to have in here that are maybe creating a little bit of bulk in my planner. So what I love to refer to and what I highly recommend that you take a look at is this insert, which is a freebie from EO Edits, and it's a planner purge uh, challenge. So she gives you some tips, um, you know, of things that you can do to go ahead and declutter uh, your planner as well as your planner supplies. So what I'm going to do today is remove any inserts I haven't used in the last three months. I'll also take a look at maybe some of the dashboards that are creating a little bit of bulk in my planner that maybe I don't really uh, have to have in my planner setup. Okay, so let's go through and take a look. Now, this dashboard, yes, it is bulky, but I love having it in the front of my planner because of the fact that, you know, if I want to have sticky notes on here, it also protects the vellum behind it from getting ripped. So that's why I like keeping that in there. Uh, this I'll keep because it's my key, which I have referred to. To be honest, um, I love the year at a glance. Uh, dashboards, but I never really refer to them. <laughs> I just like the way that they look. So, um, you know, that could be a maybe putting that back in. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and make piles of things, like I said, uh, that I haven't maybe used in the past three months. So everything in this section I use uh, every week. So I'm not going to look at that. All right, so moving on to my calendar section, I do have this vellum and this dashboard. Now, I don't really need them in my planner. Yes, they look pretty, but um, at the end of the day, you know, just like I had said in my video on how much uh, deco is too much, if the deco is getting in the way of your planning, then that's when it's got to go. So I'm just going to remove these and put them, you know, um, on the side. And, you know, if I do have enough space, I can definitely add them back in. This 52 week organized home challenge, I have not referred to this at all. So, um, you know, that can, that can go. So I can take out the Black Friday. Um, I don't need that list anymore. I'll keep the order tracker because I do have some orders uh, that are coming on the way. Okay. Now, seasonal bucket lists, honestly, again, you know, this is one of the things that looks pretty in my planner. It is from EO Edits. I really like how it, they look. But I never refer to these. <laughs> um, you know, we have the winter one. I just, yeah, I mean, I really like the way that they look. But I think to condense, what I can do is I can just, uh, you know, for every season, I can just make a list of things that I want to do. Or I can use this insert over here from um, Infinite Lotus and write down every season of the year and then, you know, have my bucket list that way. And that way I'm just using one sheet of paper instead of using, um, you know, four sheets or three sheets or whatever the case may be. So I think that'll definitely save up some space. Now with my social media section, I do refer to, um, you know, all the pages there. So I'm going to leave all that in there. My goals, I definitely do refer to my goals. So I'm going to leave that in there. 
Now, when it comes to my wellness section, although I absolutely love this dashboard, it is a little bit on the thicker side. So, I mean, I don't really need to have this in my planner. I love it, but I think I'm going to put it in the maybe pile, um, depending on how much space I have. Okay. Now, with all my medical information, all that I refer to, so we'll keep those. Now, when it comes to my kids section, uh, there are some things in here that I can definitely condense because of the fact that they are, um, you know, not going to school. They're not really seeing anybody uh, right now. So, you know, I can definitely keep their health logs, their medicine log. I don't need the tracker because I'm not really tracking anything else. Uh, contacts list. I don't really need that because we're not, you know, I don't have a babysitter right now. Uh, my son isn't doing soccer, so I don't need co coaches information. And with the teachers information, I already have their emails, which I refer to all the time, um, you know, in my email. So I can definitely take these inserts out with the friends list. Like I said, again, we're not really seeing anybody. So those can go for now. So those are definitely inserts that I can, um, you know, add back again in uh, 2021 hopefully if things start to get better so I'll do the same with my daughter's section okay so I mean that has definitely you know made a difference so another way that I can go ahead and reduce some bulk in my planner is right now I'm using 28 pound paper for my printables. So what I can do is I can purchase the 24 pound or 22 pound paper um, to print and that will definitely reduce the amount of bulk in my planner because I would be using thinner paper. So that's just another way that you can go ahead and um, condense uh, your planner so that it's not as bulky. So uh, that is pretty much how I would go ahead and declutter my planner. Again, taking a look at inserts I haven't used in the past three months, uh, you know, removing maybe some deco that I don't really need to have in my planner that uh, I can take out. So like I said, I mean, you know, if I have journaling cards and things like that, I can definitely take those out because this does add some bulk in my planner. Um, I'll leave that for now. But uh, as you can see, you know, I did remove all these, which has reduced the, um, you know, amount of bulk and clutter in my planner. So that is it you guys. That's how I would go ahead and do a planner purge or go ahead and declutter my planner while condensing it to uh, make more room so that I'm able to write easily in my planner. So I hope that you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you so much for watching my videos. Take care guys. Bye-bye.